Hi, welcome to this Excel tutorial. David is my name. In this video, I'm going to show us how to calculate running total using the sum if function. Therefore, let's dive in. We have this product catalog data set and we have the other dates, product ID, all through to the total in column J. Now, in column K, we want to calculate our running total and let's proceed. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to sort my other date in either ascending or descending order in order to achieve an accurate outcome. So, let's do that. You can right click and choose sort. And we want to sort either oldest to newest or newest to oldest. But we prefer to have the oldest first, that is from month January down to December. So, I'm going to choose oldest to newest. And that's pretty fine. So we have 1st of January 2020, 2nd of January, 3rd, all through to 31st of December 2020. Now, let's come to cell K2 and deploy our sum if function to equal sign sum if. Now, we want the singular sum if function. So I'm going to press the tab key and the sum if requires a range now i'm going to click on cell b2 now because i'm going to copy the formula down i actually want the b2 to be absolute and at the same time to also move relatively and therefore i'm going to hold down my shift key and click the colon on my keyboard and we have a2 colon a2 now i need to make this first a2 to be absolute so i'm going to press f4 on my keyboard and this is now an absolute cell reference. Now, the second A2, if we can just highlight and press F9 to evaluate, we have the serial number for this 4th of January 2020, and that's gonna behave relatively okay. Now, that's all we need for the range, comma. For the criteria, I'm just gonna give the same cell A2, comma. Finally, for the sum range, I'm gonna click on cell J2, Control shift down arrow key to select downwards, control backspace, and then I can apply F4 to make it absolute, and that's all we need. So close the sum if formula, and we can hit the control enter. So we have $55,544, which is exactly the, the value we have in cell J2. Now let's press the auto fill and copy the formula now. And let's see whether it's going to work. Now let's check. We add fifty-five thousand five four four to seventy-one thousand nine eighty-two. In our status bar, we have one twenty-seven thousand five two six, and that's exactly what we achieve in cell K three. Now let me just you know select all the first of January and let's paint in this field color. Okay. Now when you select all the total for the month for the first of January. And it's going to give us 265,891, and that's exactly what you're achieving. Now, the beauty of this running total is on the 2nd of January 2020, it automatically reset. Okay, so we have the total for the first transaction on the 2nd of January, which is 127,943, and that's exactly what we had here. So it reset itself, and let's select all the 2nd of January and let's paint it in another field color. Okay, let's use this. Okay, now you can actually see when I select all this record, the total for 2nd of January, we're going to have 348894 and that's exactly what you achieve here, 348894. So this is how to use the sum if function to calculate our running total in Microsoft Excel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share, comment, and you can consider subscribing. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.